John, how are you? How was the week? I know we've talked about in the past, after a loss, you got to learn from it, put it behind you. What about after a big win against the Jets? Do you put that behind you just as quickly and get ready for this team? Yeah, I think the staff did a great job with that, getting ready for, uh, you know, basically considered the best defensive front in the league right now. What do you tell your offensive linemen when you're looking at a team like this that's got such a strong front four? What are the keys for those guys? I think you just got to you, you gotta play ball. You got to be smart when you play a defense that gets upfield as quickly as these guys do. And, and uh, you know, just play turnover free, free football. John, I know nobody's talking about it uh, on the plane. Nobody's talking about it in the locker room. Uh, but certainly, you know, playoffs, at least back here, on everybody's mind. You know, people, people talk about it like it's a championship opportunity, right? Now we talk to you about it like it's a, another opportunity for us to be, you know, a proven, uh, consistent championship caliber football team. Finally, John, it, it, it's hard for me to believe uh, that it's a few days from Christmas. Uh, a holiday wish from you and from the organization for the 12s, who we all miss so much. Well, yeah, I mean, we wish we wish, we wish, wish everybody the best and have a, have a great holiday season and we just promise everybody that we're doing whatever we can on a daily basis to, to be a great football team and to go try to win a championship here. Good luck today against the Washington football team back there. Come back with a win. Appreciate it, Steve. One thing, one thing I'm going to tell y'all guys again. Let's give it to the Lord. Let's give it to him, bro. Let's, let's wash it him. Let's do everything on the field for him. Let's swag up. Let's dance. Let's have fun. Let's make plays through him. Let's do what we do, man. Let's go. Give me something. Give me something. One, two, three. Give me. Showtime, our time, baby. Let's go. We're here. Where the 12s at? Let's get it. Come on. Let's ride out. Yes, sir. Let's get this money. Let's get that dog, baby. Baby, baby, let's go make it happen today. Let's go, let's lock in, let's be focused. Hey, we the best out here, we know that. Let's keep this energy, let's keep this swag, and let's keep going, let's keep it happening. Hey, give me these on three, one, two, three. Give me! He's back! Ah! Here go. It is the matchup in the nation's capital between a couple of teams headed for the playoffs. The Seahawks, second place in the NFC West, still have a chance to win the division. They're the number five seed as we stand today. The Washington football team at six and seven. They are first in the NFC East. It's going to be quite a battle. <laughs> Tight slot to the near side. Here comes the blitz. Throw over the middle. Ball is caught. Getting up there to make the play. A couple of Seahawks led by K.J. Wright. And Diggs as well gets there to make the tackle to keep the Washington football team from advancing to first down territory. Third down and about four. Carlos Hyde in the backfield now. Again, a four-man rush. Russ steps up in the pocket. Pump fakes. Now he's going to run. Got a first down and slides down inside the 30 at about the 27-yard line. Here we go with a 43-yard field goal attempt from Jason Myers. What a season Jason Myers is having. 18 of 18 this season. Michael Dixon will do the holding. He puts it down. Kick is away, and it's 19 of 19. Go get this football. Go Stay on top. Communicate. Let's run it here. Let's prove we the best out here today. Second down and eight for Washington as McKissick stays in the backfield with a tight trips on the right side. Now McKissick is going to wing on the left. Empty backfield for Haskins. He stands strong. Three-man rush. Haskins waits. Now he's being chased out of the pocket. Scrambles right side. Look. Fires a shot. Ball's tipped up. Ball's intercepted. Shaq Griffin intercepts it down at the three-yard line. There's one of those days that got tipped up. And it allowed Shaq Griffin to intercept it. Seattle gets the takeaway and stops the Washington drive inside their own five-yard line. I never seen Shaq make that catch like that. Hey, 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 h
Second down and seven for Russ and company. Russ under center with a tight slot far side. Now in motion across the formation is Hollister to a trip set left. Russ play fake. Steps around the, the rush. Looks, looks, pump fakes. Now he's got running room. Inside the 40, across the 50. Down the sidelines, 40, 35, 30. Stepping out of bounds at the 30-yard line of Washington is Russell Wilson. Third down and seven. The Seahawks can get a first down with the ball just inside the 10-yard line. Empty backfield with three receivers right. Russ is going to throw to the end zone. Reaching up, making the catch. Touchdown, Seahawks. Hollister, the tight end. Carson, I believe, stays in the backfield with Russ on first down and 10. The ball just across the Seattle 40-yard line. Seahawks receivers with two tight ends on the right. A handoff again to Carson. Finds another running lane straight up field. Tries to barrel over the defender at midfield. Carson picked up nine. Giving the ball off to Hyde, and he breaks free inside the 40. Down to the 30. He's on the run. 20, 15, 10. He's going to go in. Touchdown, Seahawks. Going to throw again on first down after the 30 yard, and here's another throw down. Feeling this one's picked off. It's picked off by Reed coming the other way. He's across the 40, cuts outside, and dropped at the 41 yard line by Logan Thomas. That one goes to Reed. So each of the cornerbacks have now picked off a Dwayne Haskins pass. again from the shotgun. Seattle has to have a stop here. From the 23, second down and 10. Haskins steps up, gets hit, goes down. Near the 32-yard line, Collier is probably going to get credit for the sack. By my count, that's three sacks on the day. And Collier gets credit here. And that is huge. Timeout Washington with 106 to play in the game. Is it too much to say this is a huge third down and 15 play for Washington? McKissick in the backfield, four-man rush. Haskins gets hit. He goes down again. This time it's Carlos Dunlap who gets there and knocks him right back on his wallet. The Seahawks picked a great time on defense to come firing off that defensive front. Two straight sacks have pushed Washington back near the 40-yard line of Seattle. Huge plays by the front four. Fourth and 24, you don't want a pass interference call down near the end zone. Haskins is gonna probably lay this ball up as he steps up in the pocket, he gets hit. A flag is down, probably a hold. Haskins still looking. Now he's gonna throw for the end zone, a wobbly duck, and reaching up and coming down with it, almost coming down with it, is Shaq Griffin incomplete. There's a flag down, I'm guessing it was a hold. That was a fourth down. Oh, yeah, there you go. Number 71. That penalty is declined. First down, Seattle. Ball goes over to the Seahawks. Jamal Adams falls back on his back, probably says, praise the Lord, the Seahawks on defense. Here in the second half with maybe the three biggest plays they've had the entire second half coming right here at the end of the game to keep Washington from going on top and perhaps trying to win this football game. Pete Carroll has now moved into a tie with Marv Levy for 20th place on the NFL's all-time coaching wins list with 154 wins. Pete, congratulations. I know what you always say, you can't win them in the first, second, or third quarters, you can win it in the fourth, and the Seahawks did today. That's a hell of a feeling, man. I'm sorry. I'm not used to this, guys. Forgive me. I know you guys are used to, you know, Seattle, you know, always going to the playoffs. I'm not used to this. I'm used to sending my cars home by this time. And, you know, hey, I'm already packing up, learning where I'm going next, where's the vacation, when am I seeing family.